Major Mohammad Ali Shah with us on the broadcast. Major Shah, of course, the U.S. once again with its defense supplies and defense equipment uh, now being shipped off to Taiwan. We've seen uh, Europe and the U.S. making similar supplies to Ukraine, which is, of course, currently in the state of war. And uh, we're also, of course, most of the countries are also expecting that war will hit Taiwan one day or another. But once again, do you feel that the U.S. is perhaps uh, preparing for the worst or could this in fact result in another Ukraine-like situation where uh, as per the West, the aggressor is Russia, but Russia says that they were literally, you know, pushed off the edge? Uh, well, uh, I, uh, because a very good question, but somewhere, somehow, from one angle, I would not uh, like to compare it with Russia. But Russia, the things were very different. And, uh, of course, uh, the Ukrainians initially were not prepared. They got a lot of support, a lot of aid from, uh, from uh, the West, from NATO nations, from America, from UK, from various other nations. And they could be able to fight that war and they have stood their ground. In Taiwan's case, Taiwan has been prepared. They are ready. They know very well that China can attack them anytime, any moment, anything can happen. China has been repeatedly violating the airspace. China has been repeatedly sending their spy balloons. They are well aware of it. Now, when US offers uh, an aid of $345 million for Taiwan, now this was used by, this was done by using authority from the US Congress that draws weapons directly from the American stockpiles, which means that the Congress had granted uh, last year the, uh, the authority. This was uh, through a presidential drawdown authority. Now, the, the Biden government is making use of that. And yes, most certainly, I mean, they can uh, give the how many of uh, aid, weapons, or whatever they want to Taiwan. About a year and a half back, China's foreign minister, he had alleged that uh, America has been training the Taiwanese army in, uh, in incognito, in civil dress. The very fact is, even I had spoken up, even at that time, I said, well, if that's the case, they should not do it incognito. You would only do something incognito, uh, hiding, when you know, you feel you're doing something wrong. If you do something openly, yes, come on, you're free. But Meera keeping the technicalities aside, could this perhaps act as a trigger for China? That that's that was the, my reason for making uh, you know the comparison. Of course, there is no comparison between Ukraine and Taiwan and what's happening in Ukraine versus what may happen in Taiwan. But could this then act as a trigger for China? Because whether we like it or not, uh, Ukraine coming into NATO was the trigger for Russia, right? Yes, you're right. So uh, I get your question because uh, again a very uh, well thought of question and yes. It is a very, very valid question. I get the, you didn't mean to compare Russia, Ukraine and with China, I understand that. So coming back to your question, will it trigger China? Well, China has been uh, triggered a long time ago, actually. They have, uh, they are also at the same time, they are also insecure. So they are trying to grow rapidly, but just this will not trigger China, I feel, because China has got used to that triggering. So and China is totally shameless. It doesn't make any difference to them. They you can do what you want. China and Pakistan are two nations. They have one thing in common on which they connect on, on that common thing. They have a common connect. That is, the, both the nations are actually shameless. So China is shameless, so it will not really make much of a difference to them. They, though they will say, they will express their anguish. Like, for, I'll give you a correlated slightly with a small thing, you know. India is coming up with a large number of, with a, in a defense, defense production in a very, very big way. So we, uh, there was very big news just yesterday, and the last two days, was floating around that, uh, we were supplying defense equipment, Pinaka, to Armenia, to which Azerbaijan took offense. I mean, they protested. In fact, their senior diplomat met our ambassador over there. Their senior leader from Azerbaijan met our, our Indian ambassador to Azerbaijan, and he mentioned, he, he expressed his displeasure there. But we are very much at liberty, because that was a very, very big breakthrough. We are very much at liberty to strike any deal with anyone. Any nation is. Similarly, U.S. is... Uh, uh, helping Taiwan in this way. They are well within the right and if China feels triggered, so be it. All right. Thank you so much, Major Shah, for joining us on the broadcast with your perspective.